it's Rose Mystic Angel and today I'm going to be doing something a bit different on my channel and also because it's Christmas today, Merry Christmas everyone that's watching this but as you can see here I have a lot of Funkos I'm going to be um, doing the Funko review on that I got today so I guess first of all I'll start with the one that Sapphire got me which is uh, Blake which is from an anime that I want to watch at some point called Ruby and I already have one from that set called um, Ruby Rose. So let me just get this one out of the box. Okay, so this is Blake. She's pretty cool. She's got like black hair and a bow that apparently has cat ears under them because that's what her character's like. So yeah, this one's really cool and I can actually put it with the other Ruby Rose one, other Ruby Funko, I can't speak today, sorry. So I'm gonna just put that one right there. Let me move it like that a bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that was the first Funko. Um, the second one is one called Aqua from uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, I believe. And she looks cool, she's got blue hair and is wearing like, sort of, I don't know what you call it. But she still looks cool, she's holding like a key in her hand. So yeah, this is Aqua. She's pretty cool. And I haven't exactly decided where I'm putting this one. Um, hmm, I gotta think about this one here. I think for now I'll put this one up there. It seems like a nice place to put it, I think. So yeah. Okay, so the next one is Mercy from Overwatch, which I actually got the game for Overwatch for today as well. And I did play it and it's pretty cool, I like it. And Mercy's probably one of my favorite characters in full honesty. So yeah, there's Mercy. She's, as you can see, an angel with the wings. That's why she's one of my favourite characters, because she's an angel. I'm going to put her right there, because she's just really cool. Okay, it's one of these red boxes, I see. Okay, I'll, I'll worry about that another time. Right, the next one is um, Half Kukuja Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul, which, as you can see, it's kind of the same as what this one is, except this one's got, like, sort of shadowy stuff coming from it, which I think's really cool. And I know I don't really know much about this anime, but I hear it's pretty good, and I am going to watch it at some point, but wow, that looks really cool, especially the stand. It's all, like sort of purple and reddish kind of so yeah it's really cool um, um i don't know whether or not it will actually uh, fit in there okay it does i'll just leave it like that i guess if you can even see that so yeah that was a uh, half kaguja kaneki Alright, the next one is uh, Venomized Daredevil, which, as you can see on this shelf here, there's other Venomized Funkos, which I think they look really cool, and whilst this one may not be my favourite one, I still think it looks pretty cool. It's like the only all-red one that's actually out currently, I think. But as you can see, it's got, like, sort of the Venom mouth and, like, some horns. And it's a bobblehead as well, which is like that for all the Marvel ones. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move that one to the back. I'm going to put that one there and then try and move Rocket to uh, somewhere else. I'm just going to put him there. Okay, so that's that one. Let's put this one back in the box. Sometimes it's really annoying to put these in the boxes in case you can't tell. Okay, so the next one is um, Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, which, 
as you, if you can already tell, goes with uh, Light Fury, which I got quite a while ago, actually. And, yeah you, yeah, you can probably see it's a black dragon, if you've seen How to Train Your Dragon. I haven't seen this one, but I think it looks pretty cool. You know, it's like a black dragon with, like, green eyes and, like, big wings. And whatever, I think that's meant to be, like, a saddle thing. I'm not exactly entirely sure. But... This one's going to go there with Light Fury. I think that looks pretty cool. I swear, like, Funko boxes are, like, my nightmare to deal with something, aren't they? <laughs> okay, the next one is a, another Tokyo Ghoul one called Tuka... Uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced this wrong, but Tuka Kir Kirishima or something like that. And again, it's another Tokyo Ghoul one. But I think this one looks really cool. It's got like blue hair, red eyes, and orange kind of wings. So I think that's probably my favourite Tokyo Ghoul one. Perhaps I'm not entirely sure. I don't really know much about it again. So if I just try and put this one on the stand. It's got like a small hole right there. Okay, this one's being a bit of a nuisance. But I'm just gonna put that one with the other Tokyo Ghoul one like that. I think that looks pretty decent. So yeah, that's all the Tokyo Ghoul ones, I think. So just put that one there for now. Okay, the next one is Five Nights at Freddy's, the Twisted Ones, Twisted Wolf, which I don't really know what to really think about this one, seeing how I don't really know much about this series. But, I mean, I think overall it's decent. It's not my overall favourite Funko of the ones I got, but I think it looks pretty decent for a Funko. And for this one, I'm just going to put that one... Uh, I'm gonna put it with um, Aqua just right there for now since that one doesn't really have like a specific topic to go with the other ones. So just leave it there for now and just see what happens, I guess. Okay, the next one is one that I actually had no idea about. It's called Jowl. It's from a game called Mass Effect, which I've never heard of. But overall, I think this Funko is pretty decent you know it's not one that I originally knew about but it's still a cool one it's kind of like got like a gun sort of thing of like a blue sort of thing I don't know what you call it um I think I'm gonna put this one um here for now since again like Twisted Wolf it doesn't really have a set category compared to the other ones so it's just going to stay there for now and until I actually get one of the same sort of, like, category as that. Okay, so for the next three, they're going to be, like, Fortnite ones, which I know where they're going to go already. So, first of all, we've got Panda Team Leader, which this is actually a skin I have. I don't know whether or not this was a thing that was on my Fortnite skin review video i don't know whether or not i had the skin before or after so panda team leader is decent i guess i don't think it's as good as cuddle team leader but you know it's still all right and again i'm not sure whether or not it was actually in my fortnite skin review if if since i don't know whether or not it was before or after i recorded that video but I suppose that doesn't really matter, so I'm just gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna have to do some sorting out of this because the, the next two are also Fortnite ones. So I'm gonna put Cuddle Team Leader up the front, like that. Hannah Team Leader will go sort of there, and I guess we'll see whereabouts I can put the next two. Let's put that one back in there. Okay, the next Fortnite one, the second out of the third one, 
is Love Ranger, which this, unlike Hannah Team Leader, is a skin I don't have. But, I mean, it's not the best Fortnite skin or the best Funko out of all the ones I've got, but it's decent, I think. The only thing I don't really like about it is the fact that it's sort of... It looks a bit boring compared to the other ones, I think. So, for this one, I think I'm going to put this one... So I'm going to move Drift to the back there and I'm going to put him sort of there, if that works. If it'll stay up. Just leave it like that for now, I guess. And yeah, in case you're wondering, I am keeping all these boxes because... Like I do, I do like to keep the boxes. I think it's like a good way to sort of keep their value. So this is the last Fortnite one, which is Black Knight, which again is a skin I don't have. But I think out of all the Fortnite ones I got, this is probably my favorite one out of the ones I got today. But it looks pretty cool. It's got like orange eyes and like red and black, which I think really go well together. I think I'm gonna put Black Knight, I think I'm gonna move that one over a bit, bring that one forward, move that one that way and then put him sort of there like that next to Raven. I think that's all right, I think. So that's all the Fortnite ones, because I just kind of thought maybe have them all in the same, ca same sort of section of the video, even though I didn't do that for the Tokyo Ghoul ones, but I suppose that doesn't really matter. So the next one's actually my favourite one I've got today, which is actually a really rare one as well. It's really expensive as well. Dr. Strange Ghost Rider, which looks really cool. It's my most favourite one out of the ones I got today. Let's get them out of the box here. Yeah, this one's like really cool. It's like Doctor Strange with his like Ghost Rider's head with like the flames coming off his head and like the cape from Doctor Strange. This one does look really cool and the stand as well is like the same as like what Mercy's is because it's got like him floating and stuff. I'm gonna put this one there for now, I guess. I know he's like at the back, but he's like a taller one, so he kind of has to go there. Okay, so the next one is, again, another one of my favourites, which is another exclusive, which is Harley Quinn, except instead of her having, like, her normal hair from Suicide Squad, she has, like, her hair sort of up. So, again, this one looks really cool. She almost looks like she's got, like, almost like a mohawk sort of thing, if you look at it from the side. Like, her earrings are really cool, and she's even doing, like, sort of... I don't know what kind of symbol that is. It's it's not like a lockout sign, but it's, like, sort of... I don't know. But, nonetheless, it still looks really cool, and, again, another one of my favourites. I just try and figure out how to put this on here right now. Okay, I think that will do for now. Let's move those two up there and I'll put that one sort of like that for now. Leave that there. Okay, so I've got three more Funkos left to review. And these ones, again, they don't really have much of a topic compared to the others, but... The next one is Pikachu from Pokemon, and as you can see the box is a bit scuffed, but that's because the place I got it from, they had it sort of like in bubble wrap instead of like an actual like thing. But the Funko inside it's still alright, and whilst it doesn't have that much detail it's compared to some of the other ones, it's pretty simple and pretty cute. And I'm going to put this one next to... Charmander, which again Sapphire got for me. So I think that looks pretty cool like that. Let's leave Pikachu there like that. I think 
think that's that shelf there complete actually. Except if Sapphire does actually decide to get me Maya, which she doesn't actually, but you know. Yeah, I'm going to move Katana to somewhere else so I can put it next to the other Borderlands one. Okay, the second to last one is Ryuji, or Skull, which is his code name from Persona 5. Now, this is actually another game that I got today, which I do really want to play at some point, seeing how um, Sapphire and Mixelcrafter got me into that game. And this one looks really cool. He's like doing the rock out signs, holding what looks like a pipe, and he's wearing a really cool mask. Probably one of my favourite Persona characters, actually, and... Overall, he's a pretty solid Funko. Let's try and... Again, this is where I struggle seeing how I am not very good with these stands. Especially with the ones that have two things on them. Hmm. I can't seem to do this. It's like... It's like one of my worst nightmares when it comes to Funkos. Well, I, I won't. I probably won't put the stand on for now, and I'll probably just leave him there for now. He seems to stand up perfectly fine without the stand anyway. But I'll still leave it like there in case I decide I want to try and finish that after the video's ended. So that's almost all of the um, Persona ones. Yeah, I've got all the Persona ones, as you can see. My favorite one of the ones I've got at the moment is probably Anne, because she's just really cool. So the last Funko I got, which is a big one, it's like one of those um, like six inch ones, I think, is one from Game of Thrones, which I know nothing about, but I just got it because I thought the Funko was really cool with like a person on a horse. Just has got to try and get the cellar tape off. Hmm. Thank you, oh mysterious editor. <laughs> this is the meme that I sometimes think of in my spare time for some reason. So I don't really know how these big ones work since this is the very first big one I ever got. But this looks really cool, actually. I don't know whether or not the guy can come off the horse. Okay, no, he can't. But it looks really cool. The horse is almost like a skeleton horse on the front there, and this guy is holding what looks like an icicle sphere or something like that. And overall, this is a pretty cool one. And because this is a big one, I'm going to put it up there for now, since I don't really have any other place to put it. But yeah, that's all the Funkos that I have got today. So this was my first ever Funko review video that I've done on my channel. But because me and my friends will be going out into Exeter in a couple of days' time, um, I think on Mixelcrafters channel we'll be doing another Funko review of all the stuff that we get in Exeter. So I'll see you again then and hope you all have a lovely Christmas and goodbye.